is up, weather enthusiasts. I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have Invest 92L currently developing. It is on the verge of development, according to the National Hurricane Center. We now have a 90% chance of formation in the next seven days and in the next 48 hours. So basically, at this point, it's up to the NHC. It's there Once they're, they call it, it's a tropical depression at this point. If we take a look at the satellite, we're starting to see concentrated storms in the northwestern quadrant as well as more into the center of it. So that is something we need to monitor continually right here. It is, we are expecting tropical development in the next day or so, according to the NHC. If you honestly ask me, I could see this developing tonight, if I'm going to be completely honest. Once we get that, we'll have a cone and we'll have a bit better analysis to show you. Here's the latest of 92L. The location is 9.7 degrees north, 34 degrees west. Maximum winds is 25 knots. Pressure is still 10, 10 millibars right here. What's really going to be fueling this system is the global sea temperatures. We're looking at a very broad area of 28 degrees Celsius once again. And we have the latest deep later uh, deep ocean heat co uh, content, rather, excuse me. We have a little blob of 125 around here where this potential system is going to be making uh, coming through. So definitely could tap into those waters right there. And then we're going to look at the shear right here. And the wind shear from now until it enters the Caribbean Sea isn't going to be terrible. It's going to be around 15 to 20 knots. But if it does in, it enter the Caribbean Sea, it's going to have a much harder time organizing, having a much harder time maintaining its intensity, its strength, all that stuff going on right there. We're going to go ahead and first show you the track models and then the intensity. The track models here, the majority of them having it impacting the Lesser Antilles, there is a bit more of a split with the models of if, if it's going to impact the Lesser Antilles and enter the Caribbean, or if it's going to miss the Antilles or make a close by uh, there with, in some cases, with the HMON and the AVNI, just missing it entirely and staying out to sea. Then we're going to go ahead and show you the intensity models. Intensity models, we're still looking at a major hurricane scenario right here. Majority of them have it around Category 2 or so, potentially going on right here. So that is something we need to keep in mind going forward right here and right now. Tropical storm strength is expected in the next 24 hours, according to the model runs right here. So definitely something to pay attention to. All right, now we're going to go ahead and show you some model runs. We're going to go ahead and show you the, a couple of runs. We're going to show you the HMON, the HFSA, the a HAFSB, excuse me, and the HWARF. We're going to go ahead and show you all those models right there. We're going to go ahead and start with the HMON. The HMON has this organizing starting to develop. Uh, it gets down to 1,003 millibars right here. Then it starts to strengthen, starts to build a core, potentially re reaches hurricane strength in the next three days, according to the HMON. Kind of stays around the mid-category one range for the time being right here, and it does start to weaken as it starts impact getting into more shear right there. So that is the latest from the HMON right there. We're going to go ahead and show you the HFSA right here, which is the 12Z. This thing has this organizing at a pretty quick pace right here. In the next 24 hours, we're at 1,003 millibars, looking at potentially 45, 50 mile per hour tropical storm. And then things start to really ramp up. Potential hurricane strength in the next uh, little bit right here. And things really ramp up by day three. We're at 971 millibars right here. The wind field's pretty much right there. We're looking at either a Category 1 or Category 2 scenario right there. Definitely Category 2 by four days out. And then things start to kind of calm down. They do start for a little bit kind of like to stop the stops and just reorganize and then starts ramping up in intensity getting down to 958 millibars as you can see right here we're looking at some winds in at least to 850 over 100 knots we're looking at the surface right here around 100 uh, 110 knots which is about 125 miles per hour at the surface which makes it a high-end category three hurricane at that point so and then it kind of stops, starts to, uh, starts to st uh, stagnate, starts to organize a little bit more, and that's the HFS and a uh, HAFSA right there. This is a new run actually that was introduced to tropical tidbits this year. Now we have the HAFSB right here, and this is an interesting scenario right here. Similar to the other run we were talking about, it has it organizing quickly and strengthening rather quickly by three days. Once again, we're at 968 Category 2 strength right here, and then things start to calm down a little bit, and the intensity reorganizes, and then it starts to strengthen again. It gets down to 947 millibars right here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this uh, one of the soundings right there. That's a little bit further. That's a little bit further out right there. But if if you can take a look at it, that's around uh, that's around 120 knots or 140 miles per hour, potentially a category four hurricane according to this run right here. I'm taking this with a grain of salt right here. I'm not sure how reliable it is, but I figured I'd share that with you guys and just kind of t uh, tell you what's going on. Last model we're going to go ahead and show you is the H Wharf once again. The H Wharf has actually been more uh, has actually been pretty aggressive. It's not as aggressive as the other two runs and generally throughout this whole scenario except for the l this latest run it has been less aggressive, more conservative rather than the H Mon, but this is not the case this time. And as you can see, this thing starts organizing, strengthening, and then it really ramps up in intensity after four days right here. Gets down to 961 millibars. As you can see, there's Barbados right there, potential Category 2 to Category 3 strength right there as it's approaching the Lesser Antilles. Still too early to figure out if this is going to impact there or not, but we'll continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make Make more videos like these the goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather if you want to help us out or if you want to just have a good time feel free to join the storms united discord server end screen right there link is in the description but with that being said have a wonderful day stay safe